Kwe. Welcome to Repromed's instructional video on injections for your IVF cycle. We want you to feel comfortable through this process. They're very user friendly. This is your bag that you're going to take home. You'll have your particular medication in there, but these are the basics that you've got. This is one of the sharp spins, and you press and close. If you press the little half moon down, it'll never open again. If that happens, just use a glad container and bring the needles back to us. Or you might get one of these ones. And that just opens like this. You'll have some documents in here. We've got a very special blood test form, fertility priority. We have a little bit of information on folic acid and iodine. You will have a sheet that will show you how your IVF cycle is going to work. We'll also give you a sheet of lab tests that are open throughout Auckland. This is the Puragon demonstration. This is your packaging and this is your pen. This is the Puragon with the cartridge and the needles. There'll be more needles than you need. It's better to have too many though. This is Orgalutran and you'll have a couple of these to start with in your bag. And this is the overdrill, this is the trigger injection. You've got your pen, pull the top off, you unscrew this, and you've pulled out your capsule. Your metal end is thrown in that way. You push this end into the bottom of it, and you screw it on, and you dial up. You've got zero and you're going to dial it up to the exact number you've been prescribed. We'll pretend it's 150 and it must be exactly in the middle of the window. And then you get your needle. You peel the needle, it's a double sided needle, and you're going to clip it on. Make sure it's on square and you may have to give it a little twist. It's got one cap, two caps. Now if you happen to go too far, don't wind it back, because look what happens. You lose a little bit. If that happens, you've dialed it too far, go all the way to the end, push it back in, start again. Got the exact 150. When you inject into your tummy, sometimes it will hurt a little bit. Other times you won't hurt at all, you haven't caught any nerve endings. When you get bruises, that's completely normal, go to a different spot. We don't teach alcohol wipes these days, it's found not to be helpful. And you're going to pinch your skin so you're a nice firm piece there. And you're going to bring it to the skin at a 90 degree angle and in. Now you need to make sure the window is looking at you. And then you would use your thumb and you would depress and it clicks all the way down. Just go at a pace that's comfortable for you, you'll work that out for yourself. You'll see it's on zero. You wait five seconds, out, and let your tummy go. To get rid of your needle, twist it off, and push it in that way. Then you're gonna put your cap back on, and back in the fridge. When it comes time, that you have to use Orgalutran. You're going to pull it out of its little container there and you do not get rid of that air bubble. It's there to lock the drug inside your tummy. There we go. Now you're going to go to the other side of your tummy. You've given one injection on one side and one on the other and you're going to pinch your skin. This is all good to go. You press it in up to the skin and then you push it all the way in and then you press it. Just do it at the speed that's comfortable for you. The air goes in usually last and it gives a bit. You pull it straight out, any drug on the skin, you just wipe it away quickly. And then you put this directly into here. This one can irritate the skin. You can get a welt on your skin and it can be red and itchy. It could take half an hour to go away you can have some ice on it and soothe it while it goes away. Now when it comes time to do the overdrill, which is the trigger injection, you're going to administer this at the exact time that you've been instructed. Now you've dialed it up to 250, you're going to pull the cap off. 
and you're going to put your double-sided needle in place and it just clips on. Sometimes you need to give it a little twist, two caps. And you're going to pinch your skin again and you're going to go to one side of your tummy and then you're going to bring it to the skin with the window looking at you and push in. You're then going to use your thumb and press it all the way down. It squidges all the way down into zero. When it's on zero, you wait five seconds. Out, let your tummy go. Then you're going to get rid of your needle, twist that off and into your sharps container. And then you can just pop that on and this can just go in the normal rubbish because there's no needle attached. So that completes our instructional video. We hope you found it helpful, it's as easy as that. Please do remember to look at your pamphlets for the potential side effects. Our whole team are here for you. Don't hesitate to contact us. Here, Kornamai.